Auditing Standard SA 706 Part 2 Emphasis of Matter Paragraphs in the Auditor's Report Auditing Standard 706 provides guidance on the use of emphasis of matter paragraphs in the Auditor's Report. These paragraphs are used when the auditor believes it is necessary to draw attention to a matter in the financial statements that is fundamental to users' understanding. Examples of circumstances where an emphasis of matter paragraph may be necessary include uncertainties related to future outcomes of litigation or regulatory action, significant subsequent events, early adoption of new accounting standards with material effects, or major catastrophes impacting the entity's financial position. When including an emphasis of matter paragraph, the auditor must place it within a separate section of the report, provide a clear heading, reference the matter being emphasized, indicate where relevant disclosures can be found, and specify that the auditor's opinion is not modified regarding the matter. Other matter paragraphs in the auditor's report Auditors can also include other matter paragraphs in the auditor's report. These paragraphs are used when a matter is not considered a key audit matter but still requires communication. However, it's important to note that other matter paragraphs must not be prohibited by law or regulation. Other matter paragraphs can be used to communicate planning and scoping matters, significant risks that are not key audit matters, limitations on the scope of the audit imposed by management, or the existence of multiple sets of financial statements using different frameworks. In conclusion, Auditing Standard 706 provides guidelines for the inclusion of emphasis of matter and other matter paragraphs in the auditor's report. These paragraphs allow auditors to communicate important matters that are fundamental to users' understanding, but not necessarily key audit matters. Thanks for watching.